There you go. Hi. Hi, Elizabeth. So you Hi. came to the labs with, um, what's the title of your project again? It's currently called What They Had. What They Had. It's a working title. Um, yeah. Touches on Alzheimer's. Um, yeah. I want to know everything that led you to this point um, with, your, with your screenplay in terms of your creative outlet, like shorts and, and all the creative work that you might have done beforehand and how it got to you sitting down and penning this project. Well, I am different from most of the other fellows in that I didn't go to film school. Okay. I started off as an actor. Okay. Um, mostly in theater and then started to do TV and, and things like that. Mostly TV and okay. play. Okay. And, you know, TV actors, just acting in LA in general is a really, really hard thing. And it's not something I would, I would wish on my worst enemy. Because <laughs> it's just really brutal in mm -hmm. distance. Mm -hmm. And I am the kind of person who wanted to do be an actor because I love like storytelling and creating a character and there just isn't much of that um, when you're just auditioning and getting occasional roles. So uh -huh. I started writing, you know, I mean, I've been writing for a long time, but I started writing in earnest, like because I had all this creative energy that I had nowhere to put. Uh -huh. And so I started writing some plays and then I got inspired for this screenplay based on a family situation and my grandparents and um, my grandfather's death and uh, just basically sat down with this without having any idea what I was going to do with it. Um, I yeah. wrote it for me and like I wrote it because it was a story worth telling and I wrote it for my mother and you know my family. So well it's largely about a woman in her 50s um, leaving, deciding whether or not she wants to stay in a marriage that she's not really sure um, was ever the right match. And it's going home to her parents' house and kind of observing her parents' love affair under the guise of her mother having Alzheimer's and forgetting who her husband is. Okay. That makes her kind of realize what it is she's missing in her own life. So I think through the lens of that perspective, that it's, you know, these are kind of, we don't see a lot of 50 something protagonists we that are don't. women. And, um, and that was important to me in kind of telling. And usually it's story. comedies. It's usually comedies that usually like just mothers and we just don't see them have like, inner struggles or you know um, what it's like to be a caretaker and uh, so that was a, I think a big reason why and then the Alzheimer stuff you know I think we see a lot of it as a device we've seen a lot of that storytelling as a device uh -huh. in terms of like getting us to cry and like making yeah. us have this tearjerker moment and I really wanted to do something that felt really real because um, like my grandmother had Alzheimer's and it wasn't anything like we saw in the notebook or uh -huh. something like that so we laughed a lot we laughed like crazy you know my family and I with these Alzheimer moments these crazy things that happened they're really funny you know and it's also horrible and haunting and whatever but we laughed our asses off and you know I felt like that was something that was worth watching because I think most families do that when they have tough stuff they laugh they laugh like crazy so I'm, there's a lot I'm, of that in this room. I'm, I'm really happy. I, I had no idea that was the approach. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah, it's kind of a comedy. That, I mean, it's a drama, definitely, and like people cry. There's or, dramatic elements, but but you took it from you from a a it's different. Life to me. Yeah. Life is like that. You know, we laugh, we cry, and. How did um how did the how did the Sundance Lab, uh, confirm what you were doing was right? Like like what what were those challenge? Did they challenge you in any, like, how, how are you personally challenged? How was your screenplay challenged, let's say? Well, because my screenplay is, is, is really based on a personal story, um, you know, I think the next step for me in the script, because, you know, there's a lot of work to be done still. I want to make, I don't want to make an amusing movie or a decent movie. I want to make an amazing movie. I think most of us here do. Uh -huh. um, and for me... The challenges that I'm facing with the next draft are really going to be taking it from this very personal place and enabling myself to divorce myself from that, so that I can really craft the story as as you know as, as well as it can. Um, and and that's you know that's tricky because it's because it's so much about a family that, I that was real, but it needs to kind of move on and grow up and be divorced and be its own thing. Um, as you were writing this screenplay, I imagine for the majority of 2014, what were some of the films, what, what was your film curriculum like? Um, you're, you're based in Los Angeles, you said? Yeah. So are you... Okay. Uh, but I really don't, I watch a lot of movies, I don't 
I don't leave my house very often. <laughs> um, I and like my background because I didn't. I'm not really like a film person. I didn't grow up watching a lot of movies. I grew up watching like Anna Green Gables. You know? Um, That's Canadian television. Yes, think, yeah. wonderful yes. Canadian miniseries television. Sarah Pauly. Uh, yeah. Yes, Sarah I think, Pauly. Yeah. Uh, no. I love Sarah Pauly. Right. I don't think it was Sarah Pauly. No, it was Megan Follows. Yeah, it was Megan Follows, yes. But Sarah Pauly's amazing, and I love her both as an actress and a filmmaker. And, um, so, so you don't leave home? I don't leave home too much. But I watch stuff on my nice TV. Okay. Um, I watch movies there. Okay. And I watch, I go to the Arclight, but you know, for some reason I'm watching. Okay. Um, so, but I don't have, like, you know, my class, like, my, my alum group here at the lab talks about, like, the Neo realist movement yeah. and talk about like Japanese filmmakers and I have no clue that's and cool I, I'd love to get an education like that but and I will hopefully but you know, I think a lot of my point of view comes from just my imagination rather than like uh -huh. it's kind of nice it's kind of totally terrible because I don't measure yourself up to these people but yeah like yeah. you know I'm never really derivative because I don't know anything you know what I mean like that's cool you're coming from the, from your own great and, uh, hopefully there's an audience for I think so. We'll see. Um, well, thank you so much for your time, and um, have a great festival. Thank if, you. Are, are you staying during the festival? Are you going to watch films? Yes. Okay. I have like 10 films to see in the next three days. Great. Good and for I'm you. I'm so excited. Good for you. So, pleasure meeting you. Thank you.